So, Sucker Punch. Whew. What an interesting movie. The statement comes back to me that all men are secretly spies, or secret agents. Um, this relates for two reasons. Because I just saw Sucker Punch, and it has layers of uh, imagination going on in it, and that used to evade what's really going on. And because I may have just spun my car... Um, I don't even know, 420? Yeah. Across an interstate. I kind of just hydroplaned, and I'm fine. The car's fine. And it's, for those of you who may be worried about my well-being, all good. I just, a lesson was learned, and yet, it's one of those moments where I look back and go, if I had slowed down, I may have been in the side of the car that was next to me instead of spinning in front of him and then going off into the ditch. So, I, I don't, I don't know what the answer is here. Um, I'll try to slow down, though it's probably not going to happen. Um, anyway, <laughs> now that we got that out there, the movie Sucker Punch. I actually liked it. Um, some parts were a bit slow. And the use of metaphor, or, yeah, the use of metaphor for what was really going on, I think is what bothered most of the people who told me the movie was bad. So, I say go watch it for yourself, decide what you think. Uh, know that it might confuse you, because what you see happening is a metaphor or is an imaginative escape from what's really happening. And even on that level, there's another level that happens where she imagines more deeply something crazy um, and intense to get through so that she can do what needs to be done in the moment. Which makes you question what she was really doing on the in the reality level. Because all you really see most of the movie is the first level of imagination and uh, escape. It, the first thing that came to mind after the movie ended was a quote from Cake. Uh, one of their songs. I can't think of the name of the song, but anyway. Uh, the quote is, The people you hate will get their hooks into you. They'll pull you down, they'll tar you and drag you through town, but you still don't like to leave before the end of the movie. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. Drive safely out there. There may be flash floods. And when there are, you may need to know what to do when your car hydroplanes so you can survive. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.